even if we got one plate, even if we just hit the hibachi and maybe got That's some sushi, true. you felt comfortable that you, you were full and you were fine with what you paid for it. And that's that's a great point. I like that point. Even if we only had one plate, we had the the expectations yeah, met absolutely. with the price point. Mm-hmm. I like that. Hi, welcome to the Modern Waiter Podcast. I'm Marlon Joseph, the Modern Waiter, where we discuss all things restaurant business. Learn something. Laugh at something. <laughs> On today's episode, we are discussing how restaurant buffets make money. Have you ever thought to yourself, I'm going to crush that buffet? How do these restaurants stay in business, you ask? If so, we'll explain how buffet restaurants make their money. But first, the intro. Tired of working deadbeat jobs for lame pay. I'm tired of getting fired and hired the same day. If you know the rules of the game, then you'll stay. And if you As usual, I'm joined by my good friend, Danny Davila. What's up, what's up, what's up, people? You do buffets sometimes. Do, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know... I'm um, I'm here and there. I, I well I like a certain style of buffet though. Okay, talk to me. I like uh the the the, the Japanese or like the the Asian the Asian kind of yeah. Yeah. But, but in my one of my biggest things lately they have to have a hibachi. Okay. So because I I like the fresh hibachi along with the options with the buffet like you know so this my favorite spot has a little hibachi they have sushi you know things that sushi is expensive. In most spots. So for me, I like to get my, my value in, get a little bit of, I don't mind paying the premium. It's a premium buffet. Okay. I don't mind paying that premium. But compared to me getting, you know, let's say I get 10, you know, pieces of sushi and then a meal, it's going to cost me more money to go do that at a, at a Japanese spot than do it at the buffet. So that's why I like it that style. All right. So in this episode, we're t- going to talk about all the ways that um, a restaurant, a uh, buffet restaurant operates yeah. to to make money. And But first, I want to talk about... The last time, okay, fun fact, the only times I go to buffets is with you. <laughs> because I used to go to the Asian buffet yeah. with you, and that was a favorite of mine. Yeah. And I also went to the buffet at the Bellagio with you. Yes, and that was solid. And that was solid. That was solid. And so <laughs> what's, your, what's your strategy on a buffet? And uh, then we'll lean into uh, For eating-wise? You know, just I mean, uh, drinking wise, what are you talking about? Well, yeah, what I mean, think, like, what, what do you think we're doing here? <laughs> <laughs> we, we grab it. Well, I mean, usually you're gonna go to buffet because you, you want options. The, okay. The, the biggest thing is the options, but you're also looking for fresh options. And the the, the, the most important thing with any buffet is timing. You don't want to be on the. What's your strategy? My strategy is to get in there, okay, see what they have, mm-hmm. and take the freshest and the best kind of stuff. That's why I love your your spot has a great buffet. Okay. Um. And I like the idea of the small plates um, where, where you're getting. I like a, a, my strategy usually bases around when I go to a buffet, I'm looking for a spot that has something that is made in front of me and gives me options at other places so I can kind of pick and choose what I want. When I asked you what your strategy is, I wanted to, to kind of leapfrog into the, the, the ways in which restaurants, uh, oh, okay. buffet restaurants make money because they go hand in hand. Now, the first way that they make money is through the layout. Mm -hmm. Buffet restaurants with the layout, they're going to have mostly the carbs and the the more cost effective things in In the the front. front. Yeah. And the more. The desserts, all that kind of stuff sitting right there in front of you. Sitting right there in front of you. The fried rice, Mm -hmm. the mashed taters, the the waffles, Mm -hmm. the French toast, all of that stuff is is, is right next to you. The stuff that fills you up. The things that fill you up. And the more premiums uh, and expensive things are usually to the back. Are usually to the back. You're the 100% meats, correct. The seafood, mm-hmm. the sushi, and things like that. And so they manipulate the layout where you may not think about it, but if you go in and when I asked you about your strategy and you, you touched upon it, you walk around first. You want to see what's there. But most people who are hungry, they're going to they, go right in. They're going to go right they're in. Gonna see, they're going to see what's right in front of them first. You're 100% yes. correct. Yeah. And what's funny is all the things that I like, like I just said earlier, all those are at the back of the restaurant or in a little corner, like hidden, like almost like a gem that's like they didn't know it was there. Whenever I see somebody <laughs> come to our place and they're eating eggs or like French toast, like you paid all that money for for bread, right? <laughs> Got him. Got him. Every time. Got him. Like, man. But other people, they don't even. 
They don't even see it. No, yeah. They go straight for the crab legs. Yes. Straight for the oysters. Yes. And don't stop. stop. Okay, they that's get the, the move. shrimp. Yeah. And they just start going. That's the move. That's the move. If you like that kind of thing. Well, think about whenever ever been to your spot and not got crab legs. No, I mean that's that's perfectly. I think you should get what. Well, uh, we prop it up with experience. Yeah. You know, you get the, the free champagne, the mimosas, the Bloody Marys, and the whole thing. The, yeah, the, 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 it's, the it's, water, it's amazing. the bridge. It's, a, it's really, a, they do a, an amazing job. I think I said, I've said it multiple times. Thank you. And, and so traditional places, the layout is going to get you first. Yes. All right. Now. Because even that spot in the Bellagio, like what you were getting, you were getting the fresh juices and the fresh squeeze this and the fresh squeeze that. And... But that was hidden in the corner. Yo, I had to weave my way back there. Hidden, bro. hidden in it the back. It wasn't even along the 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 the, the drag. It was. It was <laughs> outside of. It was a U. It was like yes. It, it, it was, was a U. It was the last thing anyone would have seen. Period. The so by, last, by the time last, you're last full thing. is when they saw what you saw. Yes, with the sprouts yeah. and all that stuff. Man, I couldn't get. And when I asked them for it. It was like they gave me like a little. They wanted smidges. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they were yeah. like, let me get them sprouts, and they're like. Mm. Cheap people, come on now! What are you doing here? Let me in here. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, they. <clears throat> as I'm preparing this show, the Bellagio just came in my mind. I was like, man, they do that mm -hmm. every point they hit. Yeah, they ain't losing money. No, you know, you ain't crushing that buffet. No. And so next, the utensils. Allow me to explain. With the utensils, the placement. Uh, I mean, the uh, the smaller tongs. They're gonna they're gonna modulate the size of the tongs, mm -hmm. you know, and as well as the the size of the serving spoons. Mm -hmm. Like imagine the serving spoons are like paddles with the with the mashed potatoes. Yeah, they're big. They're big. They're big with the fried rice. They're big. They're okay. big, big long. They're hefty. Spoons. Yeah, get they're in long. There. Get in there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then when you come to the the more premium things, the, they they give you the small tongs. Yeah, you got it's it's like hard work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And it makes you sit there with patience yep. to manipulate everything. You're not getting all that like no. The, it, it, it's not that juicy grab that you can get with like a rice or a, or a mashed potato or something that's that's gonna sit on your stomach. <laughs> and, and and basically, all they got to do is hit you with that first round of carbs. That's it. If they hit you with that first round of carbs, you're not gonna be as hungry. Yeah, you're or you, as you've greedy. already cut into that first plate. Is usually the biggest plate. Let's be honest. True. So. The first place, the biggest place. So when they get you with all the carbs in the beginning, mm -hmm. and then you go, to, oh man, because you've already walked around, but you've already put that plate together while you were walking. Yes. So in in doing that, you've already missed out on like the things that I like to run straight to. So you're not gonna run over to the freshly made hibachi or the freshly made this or the freshly made that until after you've already consumed all these carbs. And at that yep. point, you're getting a small portion. They already won. They've already got you. They got you. They got you. Once, once they got you on that first plate when you first walk in yes. with the BS, it was exactly what they wanted. That was, and that was the cheap. The, that's the stuff that they make the money. That's how you make money. That's how they make money <laughs> because they. And he's like, "Why are you getting that stuff for anyway? Why you don't? You can get that anywhere. You can get that anywhere. Go that's to the everywhere. Hibachi where you got scallops, mm -hmm. shrimp, mm -hmm. beef, all that, all of that. Just like however you, you want, want it. it. Yes. Get that tap 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 tap. Then he starts like yeah, man. They do the thing with the, the sauces. With the, yeah. With, with, with the skeezinins. Yep. Oh man. So fire. That ain't nothing but obey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't nothing but obey. I'm telling you. Yep. But it's it's fire. It's delicious. It's amazing i so i learned that from you we used to get up and we hit the hibachi twice yeah before we did anything, anything else. else yep after that we hit the sushi mm -hmm. then we go get the regular stuff then you get the regular stuff then you're like okay because now you've tried things now you've had you know you've had your protein you've had a little bit of rice some substance something that tastes good and but it's, your, your palate has been covered but at the same time you're not overly full you know you're not bloated so even if i eat just that Mm -hmm. Like you know, I, like on my my dad. If I eat just that, I leave comfortable. Yes, but not. You know, you see people coming out of the, of the buffet. They have to unbuckle the pants. Oh, they're defeated. Yeah, they're crushed. Yeah, okay. and it could take you down that. You'd be in the rabbit hole for the rest of the day. Oh, like, you're, <laughs> done. you're done. You're done. Done. I, I mean, I tell people all the time, buffets aren't for me because I could eat a plate of food. Yeah. When I go out to dinner. I'm not eating two plates of food. Why am I doing it at a buffet? Exactly. It's very uncomfortable. And 
I'm a person that likes the one flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't want to switch plates with you. I'm not sharing my food at all. No, he's not a share. I want what I want. He wants what he wants. Yes, that's it. This is what I wanted. I don't want yours and yours. This is what I came for. Oh, we can split. Not with this guy. (laughs) This is what I came for. (laughs) This is what I came for. I know what I want. What and do you want? Get what you want. Get, get what you want. You want two plates? Go get two plates. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm okay with this. And, and, and I see people at buffets and they, they, it's like a sport to them. It's it like a sport. But ours is more of a premium buffet because you're paying for it. Yes. You're, it is not no, cheap. No, absolutely. You're paying for it. And that's why I love that you're, like I said, the small plates where it is a small plate. So you're only getting a little portion. So it's like it would take seven or eight small plates to make a regular plate yeah easily okay? and you can get as many as you like exactly and and unfortunately there is a lot of waste people want to get their money's worth mm-hmm. even if it just sits on the table yeah and that to me is an abomination mm-hmm. because i understand your 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 sentiment of wanting to get your value but at the point that you're wasting it's a triple trickle down yeah. effect. you're going to you're good. Price, price increases are coming for everybody because this restaurant is not going to lose money. I promise you that. Absolutely. And at the spot I go to, the one I like, my little Asian spot, they will hit you with a it's like a five dollar um, fee if you if you leave a full plate. Boom. Yeah. And they implement it. Yeah. Good for them. Now, if you now if they're just like scraps, and I got you know, what I mean, like just no, no, idea. no. You should you should minimize yeah. waste because that's absolutely. Listen, it's a symbiotic relationship. This you came to this restaurant for a reason, mm-hmm. and if you come to bust it up, it's going to be closed. Where else are you going to go? Exactly. You know, so when you patronize a place, you bless them with your money, and they bless you with the food, and that's that's the law of exchange, right absolutely. there. Absolutely. What are you trying to do? What are you getting away from? You're you're only messing with your own karma mm-hmm. if you're wasting food. Come on what now. That's like people, I see it all the time. They what just pile it doing? up and they just sit there. Yeah, just sit there. Why would you ever do that? Ugh. Get a smaller plate. Enjoy the food. Take Or get on. as many plates as you want. Take a big plate. Who cares? But be reasonable and eat yeah. what you eat, get. Eat what you know you're going to eat. Yes. Don't don't eat with your eyes. Eat with your stomach. That's hard. But, but, but that's what you go to a buffet for because you eat with your eyes. That is that. That is true. <laughs> Can't blame them too hard. And in the next thing that people, uh, the way that uh, restaurant buffets make money, is that uh, they offer you the drinks. Oh yeah. Can I get you a soda? Yeah. Juices, all that stuff fills you up. Fills you up. Liquids fill you up fast, big yeah. time. Even if you're just drinking water, you'll see them coming around, and they'll be your water will stay full. Okay, <laughs> at a buffet compared to like you could be at a regular restaurant and you might not see your server for a minute and you'd be like, man, I just want some water. Yeah, you know, I'm at a buffet. My water, it's not a second when my water is not full. Exactly. <laughs> and a lot of the smart ones, they have the fountain open. Yeah. Like, oh, yo, yeah. you can go, get it. Go get what you want. <laughs> go, go, go get, get what you want. want. As much as you want. Yeah. And they give you them big cups too. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, they give you them big movie theater cups. Woo. Enjoy. Listen, Take that sugar. A soda <laughs> to a restaurant. Ain't nothing, nothing but a grain of rice, bro. It's nothing. Believe you me. It is nothing. Oh, that box of syrup will will be like pennies once you once you're selling a soda. Yeah. So go ahead, go ahead, get that coke. Mix them together. Have Make fun it with t- it. Yeah. Have fun with it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. See what new flavor you could come up with. <laughs> I'm telling you, mix the mix the ginger ale with the with the cherry coke yeah. and all that stuff. Get it because Get it. they are winning. Yeah, they are not mad. <laughs> they, they are not mad at all. And speaking of not mad, we are not mad at you for joining our show. Oh yeah, we're truly grateful for every listener that we have and for every share. We get people that that write to us, and whether it's letting us know what they're like to hear. And that really helps us out to to formulate new shows. And it really helps us to understand where to go with shows and things like that. So thank you so much. And if you have never taken the time to do so, write to us, say hello. Mm-hmm. We, 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 I, and, and by proxy, I pass it on to Danny. I, <laughs> <laughs> I read everything. And as long as it's constructive, I respond. Yeah. Good, bad, or the ugly. I really want to help people along their restaurant journey. And uh, I'm currently talking about uh, putting together another show for somebody who's who, who genuinely wants to know how to fix something. Give him some ideas. We listen to your ideas. We don't mind doing shows. A lot of our shows lately have been based off of people's ideas or what they want to see or hear about anyways. Yes. 
And if you do enjoy this content and you know someone who may also enjoy the same share content, with share it with a friend. There's a little arrow button there. Pass it on to a friend. Or like, if you're new to the show, consider subscribing. Ain't nothing, baby. Ain't nothing. Let's move right along. The next way that restaurant buffets make money is their peak time pricing. Yes. You, it's cheaper during lunch, mm -hmm. more expensive during dinner. Every time. More expensive during the weekends. Yeah, absolutely. So they modulate their prices. Yeah. And so we, when, when we would go to we'd go the lunch. buffet, we'd go to lunch. Yeah. And be mad if we're too late. Yeah. We're like, we're not paying dinner prices for this stuff. No. And they did a really good job. And I kind of miss it. Although I'm not, not a big fan of uh, buffets, I felt confident. Mm -hmm. I've never gotten sick there. Yeah. I enjoyed what it was there. I never really felt that it was, you know, too expensive. Mm -hmm. It was right on. It was, it was, it was, it was, the price point fit for, like I said, if, even if we got one plate, even if we just hit the hibachi and maybe got That's some sushi, true. you felt comfortable that you, you were full and you were fine with what you paid for it. And that's that's a great point. I like that point. Even if we only had one plate, we had the the expectations yeah, met absolutely. with the price point. Mm -hmm. I like that. And that's how it, I don't know if that should be because that's when I, I, I miss on a buffet. Mm -hmm. If it's like a certain price, I'm like, I can't get my value here. You can't, yeah. And that's the key is the value. The key yes. is value. Like. The one we went to in Vegas was was a little pricey, but it was fine. It wasn't it wasn't overly pricey either. It was to be expected, and I was happy with the the choice because I I eat a certain way, and yeah. I'm still able to, to eat, eat the way you wanted to. And that's what I loved about it was, yeah. When we like I said, we went there and like he eats healthy, and we were in, and at that time he just needed the he needed what <laughs> what they had. He needed okay. Our bodies needed certain things at that moment, and it covered those bases. Wow. I was holding on by a thread. I needed goes, every ounce of mineral and, and vitamin that I could get out of any sprout, any juice, any fruit. He looked at me. He goes, Danny, I, I am, I, I can feel this right now. Going oh, through. I was like, I was like, <laughs> it was coursing through my Yo, veins. He goes, I need to reboot. Okay. How many fresh squeezed juices I had? I just kept coming back. Yeah, you had. Mo it was a lot. It was. It a was amount. a lot. You easily had, I want to say 10. I don't know if it was that much, but it was a it, lot. It was because you had what? There was three different kinds and you've had them at least twice. Yo, I was a raisin. Yeah. <laughs> he was hydrating and drinking water. It was rough, rough, rough that week. Yeah. That was our, it was our quick, quick, quick. Uh, yeah. It was, it, was they, it, was, it, was, it was the trip because our one trip got canceled and we mm -hmm. came back during the weekdays. Yes. 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 Our, our, our flight got canceled. Yes. And we, we made it for like maybe three weeks or a month later. Yeah. And man, it was hot. It was a lot of drinking. It was. And it was a lot of drinking. It was a lot of drinking. Ooh. Ooh. Pete. <laughs> he got us. <laughs> Let's move on to the next way that uh, buffet <laughs> restaurants make money is that they repurpose unsold food. Okay. And so restaurants do this. I imagine you're, you're, you're putting things together. <clears throat> you have the, uh, the fresh fruit or the broccoli mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be, you might cut that broccoli up and, and then put that into something else. Mm -hmm. It could be broccoli cheese soup. You know, it could yeah. be um, you, it, repurposing, uh, not repurposing what's already on the floor. floor. No, he's saying in the back. In the back. In the prep area. Where, like, yeah. Yes. If it, it hasn't been used yet, but we haven't cooked it yet, but it's more of, okay, I, I cut all this up because I thought we were going to go through it all. Yes. And then we didn't end up going through it all. So now we can either turn it into a soup or add it to the beef and broccoli or do this or do that with it. Yes. You put the broccoli into the stir fry. Yeah. Or, you know, the this goes this this seafood goes into the chowder. Mm -hmm. Things like that. How do you think, what do you think they got soup for? Yeah. Because yeah, they want to make soup. They want to maximize their profits. Soup is the game, okay? Soup is the catch-all. Yes. Yo. Love it. They are making money. And so they recover, and, and it's, uh, to be to be fair, a lot of restaurants, not just buffets, do that. No, you yeah. Know? If they're prepping uh, the bur burger sets and they're cutting onions, those uh, those onion pieces that aren't good looking enough mm -hmm. to be on your burger is going into onion soup or yeah. it's going into stock mm -hmm. or things like that. And, and, and it's, it's just a device that we're going to be making money from every piece. Every piece, piece <clears throat> that comes in and out through this door. Yes, and so as you're, let's say you're prepping um, <clears throat> fruit in the mm -hmm. back, 
and you probably you're going to be able to make fruit juices for the bar. Yeah. And repurpose that for their cocktails, their craft cocktails mm-hmm. or their garnishes and things like that. You you got to make sure that you're making there for every dollar you spend in that restaurant, you're getting back three or four. That's, that's what you want. That's that's the business. <clears throat> that's that. And now that's the business. That's the business. That's the way it's done. And another way, this one I, I should have mentioned earlier, the plates. They modulate the size of the plates, mm-hmm. similar to the spoons. Yes. Them plates near the mashed potatoes are big. Massive. Okay. And then there's plates like when you like, or if you're like, I'm at the sushi, that plate is a quarter of the size. Yeah, okay? you can't even fit stuff yeah, on there. Exactly. You know, you're like, like, oh, wait, wait, it's full already. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the smart ones take the big plates and just walk all the way yep. to the back. <laughs> and so we used to have two different size plates. Mm-hmm. Now we just have the one. Yeah. The medium. I mean, they're pretty big. But those oversized plates were just unwielding. It was really hard heavy to, yeah. for everybody mm-hmm. to carry around and things like that, particularly bussing tables. So I'm glad that they wised up and got rid of that. But that's another device that they use is the size of the plates and they're the more premium stuff. Mm-hmm. They are small by the sushi and the seafood and the yeah. meats. Big by the, uh, you know, the stir-fried rice and yeah. all that. The, Big by the, the carbs. Rice. Big by the carbs. Big by the carbs. I like it. And, uh, oh, Let's talk about staffing. That's the last one that I have for you. Okay. Minimal staffing. Yeah, you don't need too much. Because, yeah. like I said, I mean, even though my water's full the whole time or mm-hmm. my drink is full the whole time, how many people do you need to do that? Usually, the spot I go to, there is one, two, three sections. Okay. Um, one, there's only one person in there, and that's like eight tables. Another one, there's two, and the other, and their, big, their biggest dining room, there's three. Okay. But there's, I never see more than three, and this is, I've been... I went one time with a friend and they wanted to go at night, even though I never go there at night. I went when they still only had three, two, and one. Yeah. Because they don't, you don't, you're refilling waters. You're at the most, you're grabbing smaller stuff, but. And you're basically, bu- you just, you're bussing the you're, table. You're bussing and, and filling water. Yes. Bussing, filling water, remarking silverware. Yep. And half the time you get your own silverware. Yeah. You get yourself while you're out. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. At the Bellagio, they brought the silverware yes. for you. And, and so the staff is there but for a different reason. Yeah. Like in the back, they want to make sure that everything is, everything's already pre- pre- prepared for the most part. Mm-hmm. And you might have a couple of uh, people to carve. And that is worth it because you don't want people no, yeah, you, 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 slicing their own no, stuff. No, no, no. You got to have a nice, you got to have somebody yeah. at the carving station, omelet um, station, whatever you're going to be like. If you have a station where there's actually things being cooked, you have to have somebody manning that, obviously. Yes. And, and so there are studies that say when someone's actually giving you the food, you take less than when you take... You're right. You're, you're yourself. Mm-hmm. So because they're going to carve it and they're going to cut it to what the spec should be, anyways. They're not. Yeah. Gonna... Or the crab legs. Mm-hmm. You know, they have somebody there. You know, people don't want to be conspicuous with their with their yeah. BS. You know. Mm-hmm. And so our place, we see the waste because you take your own oysters and your crab legs. For the most part, for whatever reason, people eat the oysters that they get, but they waste the crab legs. Do they? They waste, waste the crab them. legs. I love. Them. I think I think they <laughs> the oysters are way easier to eat. And then yeah. when you start getting through the crab legs and you're like... You start breaking in there. It's, yeah, it's more work. Like, oh. Yeah. It's more work at the yeah. end. Yeah. And, and your, your eyes get to me. You're like, ah, oh, you know. I leave them. If you waste food, I leave it on the table. Yeah. Just because it's a, it's a device for me to let you know that I know that you know that you're wasting food. food. And then sometimes people are like, oh, can you clear this? And I look at them and I don't say anything and then I clear it. You know what I mean? It's like, and then I modulate. If they're ordering stuff, if I notice... I I haven't had to say anything to anybody because that's the whole point. You can say you can say things about saying things. That's the way I like to yeah. operate. That's the way I like to operate because it's not it's not coming out of my pocket, but it's 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 a responsibility thing. Mm-hmm. It's a responsibility thing. And when you're just sitting there ordering food just to waste it, you know. Yeah, don't just waste it to waste. There, there's so many people in the world that that you should know that that are. I'm not gonna do the whole starving thing, but you know what I mean. The whole yeah. There's there's so many starving people in the world. Why are you wasting? It's 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 bad mojo. Yeah, man. It, it's really bad mojo. So yeah, minimal staff. The kitchen staff is gonna be just refilling things mm-hmm. and getting. You might have one or two people that are actually preparing the 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 recipes are, are for the most part are pretty simple. They're pretty simple, but they they're basically heat heat held. Mm-hmm. There's very few things that are made. And and please stop it. Don't ask for stuff to made to order at a, at a buffet. It's just not the style. Okay? It's just not the style. Yeah. And so please let me know if if you like buffets 
and what system of buffet that you, that you like. Yeah, tell us about your style of buffet. Yes, and, please and, do. And, what, and how you do it. Do you walk right in and you just grab the big plate or do you do you peruse and do what I do? I want to know. What's your plan? Yeah. Are we missing something? Are we doing it wrong? Yeah. Is, is, is your, is my, is your uh, system better than mine? I'd like to know. Yes. <laughs> Reach out or email me in the comment. I mean, uh, reach out to me in the comments. I'm Marlon Joseph, the Modern Waiter. I'm Danny Villain. Subscribe, 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 people. We'll see you next week. Later.